Good morning and welcome as we continue our daily devotions. Today we're going to be looking at Hebrews chapter 2, but just the first few verses and I'll read those for you. So he writes, Therefore we must pay closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. For since the message declared by angels proved to be reliable and every transgression or disobedience received a just retribution, how shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? It was declared at first by the Lord, and it was attested to us by those who heard, while God also bore witness by signs and wonders and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his word. Now, have you ever gotten in a car and driven to your destination and not remembered how you got there? Maybe your thoughts wandered uh, somewhere else. You, you had a, a conversation that you just had with another person that was weighing on your mind and so as you drove from point A to point B that was all you thought about and then finally when you reached your destination and you pulled into the parking spot you thought how did I get here? See just like we have to fight sometimes to stay present while we're behind the wheel we also have to fight the temptation not to go on autopilot spiritually in our faith. And that's why in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1, he writes, therefore we, we, therefore, we must pay closer attention to what we've heard, lest we drift away from it. Paying attention requires an active listening and your full focus. See, we need to protect ourselves from different, drifting away from our faith. And you do this by listening to the voice of God and doing what he says. In Matthew chapter 4, at the beginning of Matthew chapter 4, Matthew gives us the description of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness by Satan. And in verse 4, Jesus quotes from Deuteronomy chapter 8, saying that man does not live by bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. See, God speaks to you through his word. And God's word is powerful. And just as important as our daily bread, the food that we put into our bodies every day, just as important as that is for us for survival. God's word is just as important. See, wherever the spiritual battle lines are drawn in your life right now, whether it's dealing with anger or greed or lust or jealousy, fear, worry, or doubt, wherever it is, my encouragement for you today is to search the scriptures. Find a passage where God speaks to that issue and commit that to memory. And then throughout the day, repeat that message back to yourself. For the first day, it helps maybe to write it on a note card and you can take it out of your pocket and look at it a, a few times throughout the day. But let Jesus, through God's word, do the fighting for you. Have a great day.